hello everyone i hope you all having a nice day so far so in this video i am going to be doing something that no one ever thought of i am going to use every tower to see how far they'll get in the new halloween's event you know from the bypass you know where you go against the scientist dude yeah i'm using every unit within the game and see how far they can reach stick around and find out also as a quick disclaimer just to let you guys know any unit that does no damage absolutely like edj commander scarecrow they do not count within this challenge and i'm also counting the expensive towers this channel works by any units that i can afford to place down so you'll see every unit that i can use that i can place down which basically means no i'm not using xwm go to juggernaut worship that you can't even use that use your head and no i don't have the relic tower so please don't go in the comments like this guy didn't use everything i'm telling you i don't even have it yet all right and i know i'm not spending my robux just to get it and i put all this on nightmare because it gives you extra cash to start with and nightmare gives you a lot of money of course so our first tower was the ranger tower and basically i set down two of them to see how long can they withstand the power of all these zombie villagers and my goodness we are losing so many hp bro ranger is not built for this yeah ranger we're giving you f2 you didn't even last long buddy now as for our second take our next unit was the shotgunner so i placed them nearby the front and i upgrade as much as i can afford to see how far he will go you know not after a couple waves we started leaking by pretty much a lot unfortunately and that's until we die. Yeah. At least Shotgunner managed to last. And our next unit, aka one of my favorite towers in the game, was Sniper. Yes, especially when he has the ghost skin on. You know, Sniper is one of my favorite towers. And I placed down one in the middle and placed down one nearby the front. Don't ask me why. It was misclick. You know. And I upgraded the, the one in the middle, but I didn't put enough range into it. So I had to skip the wave just so I can afford it. And unfortunately, due to the sniper's low fire rate, he can't really handle crowd enemies. Sure, his top half can have piercing, but that didn't help out much, especially in the beginning. And here we have Mr. Trooper, one of everyone tower that they first bought when they started the game. Well, except Operator. Unfortunately, Mr. Trooper didn't last long, so we could skip on to him. Oh. While I was trying to get in my next match, I ended up running to the police. The dude from Meatball Movie. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Bro would not stop following me every time I was trying to get inside the helicopter. Now it was time for the operator. Also, I had the top out skin from which is one of my favorite design, even though it's so classic at playing. So I placed him down, got him to level 2-2, two to two, then I eventually got bomb path, and we were leaking quite a lot. And operator didn't get to last long. But he lasts good enough, you know? But not until the late game. Hey you, yeah you, the person that's watching. I spent a lot of time working on this video, so I appreciate you subscribe. I ain't forcing you, unless you want me to. And oh my goodness, here we have the line mirror. Oh, this dude almost made me feel half asleep while playing the game. You know it didn't last long, but mine layer is so freaking useless. Same with gold mine layer. They're so completely useless on nightmare game two. So don't ever try using this thing. Unless you're so worried about leak and you just have skill issue, get better DPS. And here we have one of the most forgotten tower in TDX. That's right, the Cryo Ranger. The tower that you get from the first uh, Christmas event that came out. I played TDX in the beginning when it first came out. She may lack DPS, but she can freeze them, which was good about her. She was actually surviving good enough, but not long enough until she died. And our next unit was the Green Among Us. Nah, I'm joking with you guys. <laughs> we have the Toxic Gunner. I was expecting him to do so bad due to his low fire rate, but his Cloud Smoke is good for crowd control. But that's like for the early game, you know? Toxic Gunner is mainly used for his bottom half of build, which aka do more damage when you use it. And I like that bounce, but I just wish there were more use usage of him, you know? And Toxic Cater got pretty far and i'm gonna put him in first place i just mainly spam a bunch of top path yeah basically and here we have one of the most cheapest units you could place down that's right the sentry yep this no range low budget thing turret walmart version 
yeah, I could pretty much, he got to a decent amount of waves, but not good enough. And here we have this no burner, useless slammer tower, the buckethead. Yeah, I'ma just say this was honestly, what were you expecting? Come on. And here we have one of my most favorite towers in the game, including yours, our most OG tower, Laser Gunner. Now, I was expecting him to get to a high amount of waves, but due to the amount of enemies they keep spamming, well, he basically didn't get to last not longer than your mom. While I was doing this video, I had a random encounter with a Gojo person. He hopped in my helicopter in the last second, tried to sneak in as I watched him. Goodbye, you moron. And here we have the fragger grenade or grenader, whatever you want to call him. He didn't even last long since the fact that he uses bomb, and the majority of the enemies at the beginning have explosion resistance, so he didn't get to last long. And oh my goodness, it was time for the, the gorilla man himself, the main character, the main protagonist, the owner of GDA, the TDX man. Yes, John. This guy was carrying the absolute crap out of this game. He did so much better than everybody else. The bottom half, top half's not really recommended, but the bottom half, mwah, chef's kiss. That dude just carries everything. He was always used for this nightmare, uh, chapter two. He was always used in every loadout, how to solo, this and that. And everybody just used him. So did I, you know, he was good. Cause I always struggle on wave 14, 17. I hate both of those waves so much. John, never mind, it doesn't matter. You get the point. John Robux literally carries chapter 2. I wonder how he'll go in chapter 3. Honestly, this is his highest attempt. He's in first place so far. And here we have, if not one of the best early game defenders in the game. Well, unless there's laser resistance, but scratch that. Golden Ranger. Yeah, the Powercraft version of Ranger, the new boy. Yeah, this guy, he was doing great and all. I was kind of expecting to do the same thing with Laser Gunner, but since he has burst bullets, he actually did way better than Laser Gunner. So, honestly... A slap on the wrist for Golden Ranger. He did good, you know. I'll put him close to John and Toxicator between. And now orange are one of our fewer units we have left, which is the Ghost Tower. Yes, the one that has flying detection for some reason. Probably has something to do with Chapter 4. I don't know. Who cares? She basically did okay on here, but not the best. But she has the average amount of DPS. I'll put her behind, like, Golden Ranger. That's where I'll put her at. And here we have the artillery, one of the best units that everybody used to use all the time during the beginning of TDX. And not gonna lie, chat, I was cooking with artillery. Bro, don't listen to me, I'm capping. Like, bro, artillery is not built for this game mode, man. He cannot defend for a penny, bro. This dude lets everything run past him. Like, just look at this. Like, what's wrong with you? Get your aim straight, you long barreled and useless. Now here we have the armor factory. At first I wasn't doing the best, but over time I know a strategy how to use armor factory. When you place it down, then we have enough after the first one spawns in, you upgrade it and then the second one spawns in. It's just a little thing I know, you know? And I was doing good, you know? Until over time when the big saw dude came, I died. Not bad for a summon tower. Man, I just wish I could say the same thing for Barax, you know? But unfortunately, he didn't do as good as Armor Factory. I know that Barax can solo like so many ways at the beginning, like there's little strats of it, but for some reason, he chose not to work. So bro lost Aura after that moment, so I had to dispose of him before he cooks me. I have to save the best for laugh. Oh my goodness, bro. This attack helicopter is so amazing, bro. Like, he can solo Nightmare by himself. Well, you're gonna need Baytox, but scratch that. But this dude can literally solo Nightmare Chapter 2 on his own. Like, all you have to do is place down a helicopter, upgrade to bottom path, then get to level 4, get another one, get that to level 3, and then you max out the first one, then you max out the second one. And then the rest is top half. And when it's boss wave, boom! Like, bro. Helicopter is so good that you guys are missing out. You know, if you're new to this game, I feel so bad for you. You should have started earlier. But, you know, it is what it is, you know? I can't really blame you if you didn't start back then. But yeah, um, Helicopter is amazing. He's literally S plus tier, actually. He could just solos the whole thing. So, 
who can beat him. XWM would not cut out for it because it already would have been dead by now. But yeah, overall, that's gonna be it for this whole video. My goodness, this video took me such a long time to do. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe. Like, thank you so much. This was just a crazy video, you know? I enjoy making this and also very tired, you know? <laughs> But, you know, I did it for me and for you guys also. If you think my opinion wasn't how you guys thought it would be, you guys can tell me in the comments, you know. I'm always going to be responding, reading to them all. I want to hear what you thought about the video, the towers that I did. Hey, maybe, just maybe, I might do the hardcore towers, like the things that's actually expensive. You know, I might actually do them all. But yeah, if you made it this far, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a nice day. Peace.